Welcome everybody. Would you like to control your mind? You have to be conscious that not only you uh, who like to control your mind, there's others who are looking for that option. All this advertising system working special way to catch your attention and control you that way so you buy the product. All this, you know, situation in your life when people try to sell something to you and people try to catch you or maybe not only catch your attention, attention they like to catch your heart they like to control that uh, potency which we call as the mind mind contents is that which you need to see so we have to start from somewhere, we have to have a system or some uh, concept how to do it. You need to have some idea. So first of all, in a, our yoga system, we teach people how they can relate to their own mind. So you have to know that you are not your physical body and you have to know also that you are not your mind. Your mind is an energy which cover you and unfortunately people have false body concept, we call this, when they identificate themselves with physical body and with the mind as well. So to not identificate yourself with the, your mind, you need to have experience. So experience is such, you can sit in quiet place and you can for some moment try to relax and you tell to yourself I am not my body I am not my physical body and I'm, I am not my mind my mind is a something which I like to watch right now and you sit quietly with the inner eye with the inner vision you try to observe what is in your mind and gradually you start to see at many you know, desire, many uh, concern, many vision, many, many plans can, you can pass in your mind, but you can be witness of your mind. So the silent witness technique is a one method which you can observe that your mind is something different than you. The second uh, ability is when you, uh, before you go to sleep, is a stay between between awake and sleep. You can observe your mind and you can see that you, when you go to the sleeping boat, you can see what is in your mind. You can observe what 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 pictures, what uh, emotion is in your mind. So that's another option when you can. Uh, experience the mind is something different than me so to control mind first you have to understand that you are also different than your mind so the mind is uh, something which you possess you can say i see a picture of my lady uh, she left me and i couldn't get out of thinking about yet about her. So this is something which we we experience at our mind something stuck which our desire is indifferent and the mind is still keep that picture or that emotion. You no, know, with the same with the anger. Sometimes we say, you know, I'm angry. Actually the self realized person, person who no I am not my mind, say I observe and I experience the anger in my mind, but I'm different than than, than my mind, so I choose, I go with that anger and I do something stupid, I let th that things go. So meditation, the Goranga meditation help us to in when some emotion in the mind is so strong or overwhelm you, you can concentrate or consciously repeat mantra or keep uh, your attention on mantra, so the mantra have a power to gradually you know, cool down that emotion or also purify your mind from different 
thoughts and emotions and, and different things which is fill up because we live in the world when all this information right now bombard us all the information you know attack us so we need to learn how to purify our, our mind and also we need to learn how to take our concentration from that which mind give us or mind propose or mind demand and put on mantra and that way it will build up the inner muscles so in any moment in our life we can take our attention and not be effective with that things which in the mind so mind control this is very important. Thank you very much. We come back to that subject.